So check it. I found this really, really cool poem that was written by Kate Russian. And I'm not going to read all of it because I think it's going to take up most of the time. But I want to show you what I found really, really cool about it. This is dedicated to Mary Clayton, Sissy Houston, Vinetta Washington, Dawn, Carietta McLean, Rosie Farmer, Marsha Jenkins, and Caroline Williams. This is for all of the black women who sang back up for Elvis Presley, John Denver, James Taylor, Lou Reed, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I said, hey, babe, take a while, walk on the wild side. I said, hey, babe. Take a walk on the wild side and the colored girls say do 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 This is for Hattie, McDaniel, Butterfly, McQueen, Ethel Water, Sapphire, Saffroniah, Ruby, Bengania, Aunt Jemima, and Jemima on the pancake box, and Jemima on the pancake box. Ain't your mama on the pancake box? 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 Mama, mama, get off of that damn box and come home to me. And my mama leaps off of that box. She swoops down in her nurse's cape, which she wears on Sunday and on Wednesday night prayer meeting. And she wipes my forehead and she fans my face for me. And she makes me a cup of tea. It doesn't do a thing for my real pain, except she is my mama. Mama, mommy, mommy, mammy, 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 mammy. I'd walk a million miles for one of your smiles. This is for the black backups. This is for my mama and your mama, my grandma and your grandma. This is for the thousand, thousand black backups. And the colors girls say, do, 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 do. I found this poem really cool because it was able to communicate some sort of melody without me hearing um, the poet speak. And I just found it was really cool. So I thought, why not? Why not? Let us all just play with some sound. But first, of course, we breathe, we center ourselves, we are here. So we're ready? Oh, okay. Let, let's breathe. <sighs> All right, y'all, let's write. Let's get into it. What makes this poem really cool is that the, the writer has connected the back black backups um, and connected it to backup singers. As she mentions all of these black women who have been backup singers to a lot of artists that we know of today. And this woman, Kate Russian, has connected the black backup singers to all of the black women who play these important roles in our lives. And she almost humanizes these women. Um, it's easy to think of them as just singers, but she thinks of them as mothers as grandmothers and has connected them to women in her own life who have played a role in being mother and being uh and being grandmother and being role models in her own life and I, th I thought that was really cool how she was able to connect that but what's important is and what makes an emphasis on um the backup singers is her repetition of do 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 which creates this almost melodic chorus for the writer to always revisit throughout the story um, excuse me throughout the poem so I have a challenge for you I mean don't I always so guys these, this poem is a persona poem which pulls from stories or experiences from the writer's perspective and so that is what we are about to do today we're going to pull from our own personal life experiences, our own stories, and try to create a poem that incorporates a bit of melody, but most importantly, tells a story about something. So first thing we are going to do, write 10 things that make up who you are. So is it your favorite food? Uh, or is it that you love to write poetry? Or is it that you love to play outside, that you love to play sports? Write 10 things that make up who you are. Is it your mother's smile? Is it where you come from? I come from Ghana. So write down 10 things that make up who you are and you define those things. 
once you have written those 10 things, I want you to cross off two. These two doesn't mean that they're any less uh, more like you than they are more, but it's just a way to kind of shimmer things down. Um, so once you cross those two, I want you to cross two more. I know. And two more. I know. And two more. Okay, so you do not have to cross off anymore. You should have at least two left on your paper. And you could always revisit this activity and pick a different two. But for now, let's work with the two that you have just uh, left on your paper. On my paper, I have stories and I have God. And these two things cut are very vague. There's so many experiences in which stories were involved in my own life or God was involved in my own life. But these two make up who I am. And those are the only two that I had left. So let's work with it. So maybe on your paper, you have sports or art or tea or whatever it is that you think or you believe make up who you are. So the first thing I want you to do is think about an experience or a story um, or something that happened in your past that involved the two of those things. Once you have that story, this is where the poem begins. Just start writing. Start writing about that experience and mention these two. And as you're writing, I want you to imagine and remember some noises that may have come from those moments. So maybe it was a sports event um, and it's incorporating art. In a sports event, there's usually an audience or there's usually the team that's calling out plays or even cheerleaders kind of cheering or maybe a band. And maybe you want to convey that sound in your poem. And maybe you chose art. And maybe you're thinking about the paintbrush kind of um, touching the paper and it makes a nice swish sound or even just a like go dip uh, of the paintbrush in the water. But you were thinking of the sound that comes from these experiences out of the two that you chose. And I want you to try to communicate that in language, in words. So with storytelling, telling, maybe I'll create a sound of the pencil writing on a paper or I would use my grandmother's laugh because she would laugh a lot when she would tell stories. But it's up to you. Make sure that you try to incorporate sound within your poem and you have a piece. Just like Kate Russian, you are trying to connect a story right, to your own life experience and incorporating a melody in a way that the audience is able to understand the perspective that you're coming from. So that is your challenge. And I cannot wait to hear these pieces. I cannot wait to see these pieces. And if you don't choose to share and you rather keep it to yourself, that it's also okay too. But as always, channel your creativity. You are creative and there is something that you have to say that the world needs to hear. And if you choose to only say it to yourself, that is enough. Thank you, coming, thank you for coming to this writing session. And I'm looking forward to hearing more and to writing.